one of the things we always try to touch on is, is just share with people, you know, your why, like what, what made you want to start the company and, and why this is so personal to you? So I grew up in New Zealand and spent a lot of my adulthood in Australia. And for those of you that are not aware, New Zealand and Australia, you know, have stronger sun um, and the emphasis is very much on being very sun aware. Obviously, you know, changing the US is getting, you know, is heating up, things are changing with the climate. And so I grew up very, very conscious of having to wear a hat, sunscreen. You don't go out without it. And when I moved here with two small kids in tow, one and four, I found it hard. My kids were coming back with sunburn from preschool. There was no shade. They were sitting outside, you know, and as a parent, I had no control over their sun exposure in the middle of the day. You know, they're at school. So I think that I used to bring in a roll on sunscreen from Australia, it was chemical, it wasn't ideal. And I was using it and I had parents at preschool say to me, Rachel, where do you get that from? Like, that is so great. You can hold their little hand, you can rub it up and down and rub it in with one hand. And you don't have your child chasing your child with all the zinc on their hands, trying to chase them around like little greasy pigs trying to grab their hand and they're slipping through and running away awesome product where can i get it and so i was bringing in someone else's sunscreen here from australia by the truckload and i honestly just decided hey you know what if we tried it here you know that was ultimately it i tripped over myself because there was just so many people asking and it got to the point where i had to give it a go because i had so much interest in my product and that's how we were born and you know our name project sunscreen it's a project as a skin cancer sufferer, I've had four cut off my face. I have a very good dermatologist. So, you know, that was, was a huge cut right down my, I don't know if you can even see it in the camera, but you know, right down here, I had a very, very small invisible, like almost invisible sort of fleshy bump. And I just know my skin, I check it regularly. And I went to my dermatologist and it was almost like, I told them, I said to them, I need you to look at this and they're like it's okay and I said no no I need you I need you to try to take it off and I was coming back from London and I got a phone call from my dermatologist and she basically said it is a skin cancer and you need to come in wow. so yeah so it's very personal I'm a mum. I have two small kids I'm in a new country where sun awareness is not as there and I'm, I have skin cancer and I'm a, I'm a, I have a public health background. So I'm actually educated in this sort of field. And so I team with a friend and a fellow dermatologist and brought in her skill set. You know, she's a dermatologist. She knows her stuff about sunscreen and, and skincare products. And I think we make a formidable team. And that's how the Project Sunscreen was born. We see it as a project just to get everyone here to wear damn sunscreen. Doesn't matter what color, tone, skin, what age, even if you're not fair and high risk necessarily, it's still aging. And I don't think any of us really want to look like a dried up room. So I kind of feel everyone should be wearing it. I certainly appreciate your story. And one of the things that we always are always deeply, deeply impressed by is when founders literally make it their life mission to solve a problem that they dealt with. And I think across the board on all the founders we've had, that's been the the one data point that I can say like Nick and I have heard over and over and over and over. You know, my the way I think about it is it really is the thing, it's the ingredient that makes them figure it out and, and keeps them going in year five, six, seven, because years one through three go by really quickly. And to some extent, you like they can fizzle out. But the, the, the true founders that are trying to solve a problem that's deeply personal are the ones that somehow always find a way. They just have that extra little bit of energy to get them through it, which I think is really important. 